All right, Spike and Jim are here for the second installment of the Corona videos, working with the hydraulic bender. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we've got the four inch shoe and the four inch saddle and the four inch follow bar in the connecting bars here. And we wanna bend uh, three inch. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down and then put the three inch uh, shoe and follow bar in it. So what we're gonna need to do first is We've got the hydraulic ram here and the shoe is on here. So we're going to run this down so it's setting up against the follow bar. And as we run this down, setting it down on the follow bar so that way it's a little bit easier to move this pin and whatnot. So go ahead and pull that out. And then we can pop this pin out. Got her? Okay. Pull this pin out. There it is. Then I got the follow bar. And this mobile table is pretty nice because we don't have to slide this into the gang box. Just put it right inside the mobile table. So the next thing what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take this ram positioning. And we're going to slide this into here. That pin will go there. So let's see if we're going to rotate this. Slide this in here. Let's see, like that. And then we'll run this pin through. And lined up. Yeah. There you are. Okay, go ahead and slip that clip in there. And this ram positioner then will allow us to run us down to the bottom of the connecting bar and let's see if we can move this rubber thing up so it doesn't get pinched in there. We'll run this down where it gets to where it gets down to the bottom. And that will allow us to remove these pins and move this down. So I'll pop these pins out. And then we're gonna pull these pins out, Jim, is what we're gonna do. So we'll, we'll, we'll need to hold this ram and we'll pull these pins out. Let's see if I can Run release down. Just a little. Gonna just release a little bit of pressure. Okay. Will these move? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so now we can pop those pins out. I've got a hold of this connecting bar and that if you can pull those pins out. Okay. Okay. To hold the ram and the connecting bar. And I'm going to release pressure and we're going to drop this ram down to where it goes to the three inch hole. And once we get this lined up, this makes it a lot easier so you don't have to manually hold this thing and fight it. You can just use the hydraulic ram to do the work for you. Go ahead and slide those pins back in. I've got the connecting bar and the... And I'll release a little bit of pressure. Hang on. A little bit down, a little bit more. Come on, baby. There it is. All right. And then we'll slide these clips back in. I can see the hole. There's one. I would say something, but no. Okay, so we've got it set up now in the three inch. And so we can take this ram positioner off and then we can slide the follow bar in. So I've got a hold of the connecting bar and stuff. You want to grab the three inch follow bar and slide that in. And uh, we want the we want the, uh, that's the four inch. Want to make sure that the start there's a on the side of it. You can see where it says start. Can you see that? Is is it on there? Does it say start? Maybe it's on the other side over there. Yeah, where it says start. 
where it says start. You want to make sure that this is on the front, so that goes. There you go. We're gonna flip it. Right. No, no. You want it the other way. You want the start up front, and then just go ahead and there you go. All right. So we've got that in there. Let's pop this ram positioner out. Take the clip out. Pull this pin. You got the got positioner. Yep. Okay. Just angle it. There you go. And then I got this over here. And I'll put it back in its spot. Okay, now we're ready to put the shoe on. So one of the things you want to be careful of is you want to make sure that you don't grab a hold of this because this holds this yoke onto the ram. And so this, this, this will pop right out when you're trying to put the shoe on or take the shoe off or whatever. If you grab this here, then next thing you know, things are going to come undone. So you don't want to grab this clip here that holds this yoke on to the ram to do any kind of work. So we have the three inch shoe is over here. Here's, uh... Okay. Now notice on the shoe, there's two holes up here. And one says EMT and one says rigid and IMC. So depending on the type of conduit that you're doing, you want to make sure that you have this hole lined up with the yoke. So we're doing EMT, so we're going to make sure that we're on the forward hole. And the hole for the saddle, where the conduit comes through and it's held, is in, in the front. So let's we'll slide this in. And I can bring the ram down. I want to make sure that's going to line up with the shoe. And we can slide that pin in. And we're almost ready to start bending the three inch conduit. We've got the shoe in, we got the follow bar in, we'll have the saddle. I think we're good to go, Jim. Yep.